Dragon Ball Super Episode 40 Theory Video. Now, uh, I'm joined by Anime Export, and we are going to be talking about a uh, expansion, I guess you could say, or a different version of our theory based on the episode titles that were recently released. And please note, this video will contain spoilers, so I'm going to give you five seconds to click off the video. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now they have no reason to complain, right? Right. <laughs> because if you, if you get spoiled, it's your own damn fault, so don't... Don't curse me out of the comments over it. Mm -hmm. But, so, you were saying that after you read the title, you had another theory you wanted to talk about, right? So, um, the story is, we went, the, the story is, we went searching through these, uh, the next three episode titles. And, With um, a link to where you can find them will, of course, be in the description. Yeah, and somewhat, we also looked at the descriptions of the titles, of the episodes, <laughs> They were short descriptions. They didn't tell us exactly what happened. They just told us. Yeah, short. they're the same thing as every single other description for all the leaked titles have been the entire time. Yeah. Um. So one thing I would like to say is I'm I'm not gonna spoil. I'm not gonna tell you about the other titles because that relates nothing to this theory. Yeah. But episode forty, the description says, and I quote, "Champa gets mad." From, and you bet, it, spoiler alert right here, just giving you another warning. Champa gets mad from losing the tournament and wants to kill his contestants. Yes. Part yeah, the exact quote is, and I quote, The martial arts tournament against universe that, that waited on the earth have finally come to a close. In an outburst of anger, Champa wants to destroy his defeated contestant. Kaba and the others are frozen in fear. At that time, one, the one who appears on the ring is, and then it's just, uh, it just ends there. So we don't know anything else. Our theory, or my theory, so to say, is the person who appears could be Future Trunks or this future character that does come back. Who we have, we believe firmly in Trunks. Yeah, it's future trunks. Like in every theory we, we make about this, the, the the guy going to be trunks. We're sorry, people. Yeah. Um. So there's one thing I can say. I can't predict who this next villain will be. I can't predict it precisely. I'm not as confident about who will be the next villain as I am about who the future warrior will be, which I'm still. Well, the same for most people. <laughs> yeah. Um. But I strongly believe. Somehow, Trunks got to this tournament, and Trunks appears, and I don't know how, but I feel like he saves those contestants. Okay, but the real question is, how would he save them from Kaba? I mean, not Kaba, Champa. Um, the thing is, we don't really know anything about future Trunks anymore, I mean, at this point. There, it's been such a long time, we have no idea what happened in his timeline. Okay, let's just do the math here. It had been, what, 10 years? Mm, uh, I don't want... 10 years is a bit of a... No, we get 7 years, Boo Saga. True, true. 7 years, and, and the same, it would be a different period in time, but the same amount of time will pass in both timelines. But I think the real question is, how old is Trunks? Because the older you get, usually the more experience you have and the easier it is to... You know. Now, I know the wiki isn't accurate, but I will look up Trunks today, right now, future Trunks. Mm, the wiki isn't completely accurate. It is reliable for some things, but not all. Yeah, and also, this also could be wrong, it could, and it will probably end up being based on the dub. Right. But, because the wiki, for some reason, needs to be based on the dub, I'm not sure why. The wiki's actually very smart at some points, because if you didn't know, the wiki actually has the Super Saiyan grades on it. Yeah, it can, it can be, it just not be a... Actually, the wiki does not appear to have his age. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess they're not going to state his age if they don't have an accurate age for him. Yeah, oh. no, no, it... Oddly enough, it does have a date of birth, and, it, and, and the day he, uh... And the day he died. What? Oddly enough, it does have his date of birth. And the year he was brought back to life by Shenron in the Cell Saga. 
So you should be able to figure out his age, but whatever. Um, let's see. When did he come back? Tron, uh, I it, it was in year 867, and he was born in year 766. 867. I think, you know, something that seemed right about that. <laughs> yeah. I I I agree. I did a, I did a problem with that. Yeah, because considering Goku was born in seven thirty seven, it's you know, it, 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 it that's also only a uh, one year dude. <laughs> I don't. It says he was born in seven sixty six, and he was revived in seven sixty seven. Seven sixty seven. I see a major problem with that. I do too. But so let's move on back to the theory. Um, but yeah, so there's potential room for Trunks to obviously get stronger. No one knows exactly how much stronger. No he, one knows. I put a point out, as I pointed out in the last video, there is no possible way he could be a god. There, well, there barely is. There's, there's no way. We, neither of us think that Trunks will most likely show up a god. But anything's possible, <laughs> we send the, the These two, like he said, like One Piece Nation said before we started this video, they are walking plot devices. Anything can happen with those two around, and literally anything. It could. I mean, they're not being. When we watch Dragon Ball Super, how often do they get screen time during this tournament? Not a, what. Not a lot. But when they do, what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> Just they're literally doing their job. No, they're yeah being they're they're plot they're being plot devices literally. Right. So um. I mean, we can't exactly tell you what will happen, but we can predict that very strongly this person who will show up when they do show up will most likely be Trunks or possibly, it could possibly be, I mean, I, I'd like to say Hit, but I don't think Hit could be it. Well, according to what we're reading from the title, once again, spoiler, Hit appears to lose it, to lose. Yeah, but... But he does appear to be a good person, so maybe he would choose to save the people that he fought alongside of. And, the, and for those people, this is also a major spoiler. Major spoiler. So, don't... Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Um, Hit, from these, from these episode titles, we learn that Hit has future-type abilities. He, 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 he can, what, get forward, like... One like what zero point one seconds in time? Yeah, he can skip forward in time by like a short fragment, and it gives him an advantage. Well, it actually gave him. It said it said exactly zero point one seconds, which is a very short fragment in time. But because but in a fight with people as fast as the characters, yeah, zero point one seconds is everything. Like Goku could probably dodge Go Goku, but Goku cannot move that fast, in my opinion. I do. I don't. Uh, maybe he can probably move that fast. I don't think he could think that fast. I'm just saying, maybe because he fights like that, he can think that fast. And maybe that's how he'll be able to save them from Champa. You know, I get a weird feeling. You know what I just thought of? What? I mean, we, we sent. Goku and Vegeta were in the time chamber for three days, right? Uh, yes, they were in there for three days. Don't get me started. Where were Whis and Beerus? I mean, like, I'm just saying, there's a huge time. Uh, Beerus, I would say sleeping. Whis, I would say, uh, uh, hanging out with, uh, Vegeta's wife. And, uh, eating food. I mean, I'm just saying, that's a huge time fragment for Whis to do whatever he wants. Yeah, and every other time he's been left alone to do whatever he wants, he sat there and ate food. Yeah, I mean, but... We've been told what he was doing. Like, I mean, they're getting ready for a tournament, don't you think? But we do think. Do you honestly think we and Vado give a single crap about this tournament? No, but I honestly do see we being a plot device for future Trunks. Maybe. Yeah, that is possible. It is possible that Trunks will show up. Definitely. I mean, I personally do agree. If anybody appeared in the ring, it will probably be Trunks. Because if it was hit, I don't see why they would even hold off on telling us. I don't see why either. It's like, they what would they gain like, from keeping that a before, secret? Like you said before, they did not say the character is returning. They said the character is very 
you know. And the exact, the exact quote was involved. Yeah. It will involve a, th- a future related character, or or no, it said a certain future related character will be involved. And not only this, we know from what Toriyama said that this character is decently popular, especially among children. Yeah, and, and Trunks has always been popular among children. So it is very possible that a lot of people, is, their favorite character is uh, Trunks. Yeah. However, it is also possible, I just realized, for it to be Gohan. Maybe Gohan is also another favorite among many of the younger fans. Yeah, but I don't think it could be... The reason why I say it's a possibility that it could be Kit, the reason why I say that is it's reasonable, one. Two, we just learned that it has futuristic abilities. At yeah. least and three, I mean, Hit's the only one that we know with futuristic abilities besides Whis and Vada that have, and by futuristic abilities, I mean time abilities, Whis and Vada. But, I mean, he's the only one we know that has, that has the strength to even be related to the plot at this point, to even be relatively important. True. I, I actually do agree with that. I mean, he is the only one with a strength that he where he could end up being important. So, um, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see. I mean, yeah. You think, you think this cube could have something to do with? Well, but cube is obviously a very unique cube, considering it gives you the ability to travel between universes, meaning it could also give you ability, It could also be a time machine, for all we know. That's what I was saying. Like, you... it, it, it would refer to the vehicle of a god, meaning if you're a god, I'm pretty sure you don't need to have normal logic. Right. Like a cube, because like you're a god, you can probably you can do you can do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Right. But I mean, yeah, I mean, I personally think it's uh, going to be uh, Trunks, but it could also be Hit. I mean, as much as I want it to be Trunks, after reading what we read, I honestly think it could be hit. There's a very likely chance. It's it could be hit, definitely, especially with all the hype Hit had been getting. And if you notice on all the promotional material, Hit had never really been made out as a villain. Yeah. Like, he'd been made out as, as, as the enemy, but he'd never really been depicted in an evil manner. In fact, he took out Frost, the bad guy. Right, but he, he could be. Out- I think a good example of hit maybe a character like Deadpool. Like he has, he does, he gets, he gets paid to do something and he does it, and he's like, okay, bye. I don't care what happens. I think hit's more of a mercenary kind of character. Yeah, that's that. Deadpool. If you read the comment in the comment, Deadpool, he'll he'll be hired to handle somebody. If he wants to kill them, he'll kill them. If he doesn't want to, he won't. Yeah, but here's the thing. Deadpool's more of a joke kind of character. No, but I mean he'll, that kind of concept. Like, hit, 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 that's what Hit does. Like, so it may be, like, he'll, like, save somebody if it benefits him. You know what I mean? True. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah, so, also, where you were saying, you were saying that Monaco could be the character that shows up? Uh, possibly. I mean, Monaco, it doesn't mention Monaka anywhere. And what it is now like Goku defeat hit. Yeah, Goku. Monaka needs to fight. So maybe Monaka will show up and attack and stay either save oh. them. Or oh, no. another thing I heard was I this is actually something I read, but that Monaka will be woken up by all the commotion and will just get super pissed off. I mean, remember Beerus did say, Do not wake up Monaka. He said that Monaka will get very angry when he is woken up. Um, that does make a very valid point as to why it would be Monaka. Yeah, like Monaka may wake up and be like, "Hey, okay, you woke me up." And remember, Monaka is the strongest person Beerus ever fought, and Beerus is stronger than Champa, meaning Monaka would be a major threat to Champa. Okay, so we we first. Of I all, know. I realize that confirmed it. Monaka is stronger than Champa. Using using basic common sense. <laughs> True, but wait, I want to think of something. Before we just downright say it could be Monaka, and we're just assuming all these characters, why don't we just go by characteristics of characters and try to down, 
try to like slice each one off by who could show up in the ring. Okay. Okay. Um. So first of all, we know none of the universe six fighters besides Hit is eligible to stop Champa. Yeah. No one. Besides Hit. And, and, and Frost, maybe, if you could get him with poison, but let's be honest here. Yeah, Frost isn't stopping him. So, um... Yeah. Hit is a candidate. Yeah. But Hit is most likely still beat up from his fight, because he was defeated. True. Do you think Vegeta or Goku are candidates? So, you're asking me if I think Vegeta or Goku have a chance against Champa, is what you're asking me. So, I'm saying, do you think... Goku still has enough strength after this fight to try to save them? You know what? No, not after that preview. I, after how badly Vegeta was getting demolished. And yeah. also, considering the technique that appeared Goku made you, which we are not going to get into here. Yeah. Do that's you, for another video. Yeah, do you think that Vegeta, which should be healed by now, I'm pretty sure they heal them after they get done the fight, right? Yeah. Um... Well, they don't heal them, I don't think, but, you know. But, yeah, yeah, but they obviously just get better. They just take time to rest. Yeah. Um, and obviously also, they're... let's be honest, Vegeta didn't really get hurt. From what we know, Goku's fight will be at least about two, three episodes. Yeah, from what we know. So, um, let's just think about this first. We, should Goku, I mean, not Goku, should Vegeta even be able to save them. Would, would he have... Uh, well, they then, yes. To see Champa, uh, maybe. Maybe. Like, will... Is Vegeta kind enough, is what we're saying? Like, is he, like, willing to save random strangers at this point in his life? Uh, I, mean, I feel he... like, no. If you look at Bel episode 37, he does display that he cares about other science. It's, well, but, oh, it's, just, it's just really Goku that he doesn't care about. True, true. It's not that he doesn't care about his race, it's that he really just doesn't care if Goku lives or dies. He really doesn't. He does. So he does show affection for Kaba. Like, uh, yeah. So like, maybe it would, maybe he would be, maybe it would be more like a feeling like I'm the prince. He's a scientist. Like it's my job to protect to make sure he doesn't die. Right. So he would be like, you know what? I could care less if he lives or dies, but you know, he's another scientist, and he's also my ticket to Planet Valley. So, Vegeta... Yeah, he, saying, he is. He's the ticket, he, Goku, he's the ticket to Planet Stalin. So, if he wants to get there, he would need to save him. Do you think Vegeta could possibly be the one that steps in the ring? Uh, maybe. Okay, so Vegeta, um, Goku and Hit are basically out of it. We can't put them in that, because we, I don't think they're strong enough to even step in the way to try to yeah, save them. I mean, Goku definitely, after what he does. Yeah, um... Well, I mean, I don't know, unless he has a master. Should we just say? Well, no, we'll I don't know. We don't need to go into it. I mean, we, you guys, the people that are watching this, if you read the stuff, you probably know what we're talking about. Right. Um. Yeah, I don't think Goku or Hit have the strength. So, yeah. I mean, Vegeta, I mean, he could, he might try to save them. I know Beers, uh, Vados, and we really don't give a shit if they die. So. Uh, be. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think yeah, B Biru could care less. Champa, oh, yeah. Champa trying to kill them, and Vado really just probably wouldn't give a single crap. The only other contestants that would actually step in is if Monaka, if his piece was disrupted, like you said, yeah. or Piccolo, but I doubt Piccolo gives a shit if they die either. I don't know about that. Piccolo, Piccolo does seem to care Piccolo, about life now. But he doesn't seem to go out of his way for complete strangers. Uh, yeah, but he, yeah, probably not. Like, Piccolo, Piccolo saves people on Earth, but that's because Earth's his home. He's like, these people are are innocent. But, like, when it comes to other universes, I don't think Piccolo honestly cares about their fate. True, but you also need to remember he still has some Akame's influence, so he may end up saving them. True, but I don't think Piccolo has the strength to save them. I don't even think he would even consider that. Well, no, I actually do think, I, I don't think, the saving and defeating are different. Yeah, but the, I know, like, like, like sweeping in and just grabbing them and getting them away from there is completely different than the going in and actually blocking the attack. I didn't, I, when I said save, I thought of them just stepping in and then you're stopping. Like, yeah, you're thinking like go in, like deflect the people that then engage in combat. 
Yeah, but I'm thinking when the way it says it, step in the ring. It Even doesn't... Goku, in his messed up condition, still has a small chance of saving him with his instantaneous movement. True. I just is, grant um... him and be like, well, sayonara, and just like, te teleport out of there. Yeah, um, I think, I mean, I don't think Goku has enough strength left. I honestly don't think Goku would have enough strength left, unless... Yeah. Unless the master, unless that technique does not take that much energy. I mean, yeah, who knows? So it might not do anything to yeah, him. Yeah, but that technique is for another video. <laughs> um, and yeah, if, that technique in and of itself is like ridiculous. And, and, um, I'm just gonna say it right now, since they don't know what we're talking about. If he, ha if that technique no longer does anything to him and he actually has it that mastered, that's literally plot device that makes him almost invincible. Yeah, which is why I hope I hope that's not the case, and I want to save that for all other video. Dude. That could actually bring about a whole realm of problems. Right. Um. But if Goku does have the strength, I think he'll try to save them. But otherwise, I think it's up to it's either Monaco, Vegeta, or or Future Trunks. Yeah, or Future Trunks. Yeah, I mean, those, those are really our only options at this point. Right. Those are the I mean, the, la the only other person that may, may step in, maybe, would there is, there is one other character out there we all forgot about. Jocko? Gotenks. Oh, shit. If Goten and Trunk wanted to, they could fuse, and they can't. They definitely wouldn't last in a fight, but you can't tell me you don't think they would be able to grab them and get away from there. They would be able to, I think they could possibly do that, pull that off, but I don't think they would do that. I don't think, I mean, maybe Goten or would. Or Boo. Boo could also distract them with chocolate. I mean, there are ways they could handle this. There are ways. The Chompa, I mean, it, it, all Boo needs to do is create some food. True. And Chompa would be like, ooh, food. You know what I mean? Or who knows, maybe Mr. Station will come up and scare, and scare Chompa to death by reviving Broly, and then Broly oh. will win. I am really hyped for episode 39 and 49. Yeah, but you know what? I think we should end this here. At this point, we're just, like, really guessing random stuff. We're just, we're trying to determine who's going to save them. And yeah. if they who, why, and who, and how that will lead into the next arc. Yeah. Because uh, we know there's probably going to be a next arc. Oh, yeah, at, th at this point, it confirmed. But uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. So you'd like comment and subscribe, tell us your thoughts in the comment section down below. Remember guys to have a great day.